started eight years back as a little um, children's library uh, with this dream that it would be open access you know children from diverse communities could come borrow books uh, we would read to them parents would participate uh, and it was almost you know a conception of an idea that didn't really understand a social reality what we've understood in the course of our work is that accessing a library continues to be the privilege of few people so this in some way compelled us to say we'll take the library to to children who were not coming to us and the mobile outreach uh, program was born from this idea for me the, the program was the very new uh, i was also new to uh, working with children actually uh, it has been a wonderful learning experience we uh, for, for the first 6 months we ran it as a uh, pilot and uh, trying to understand what works in different sites uh, so we started with uh, three different sites actually versus uh, chimbal and talikao and by starting the mobile outreach program it has taken book to areas and to children who don't have an access to books and uh, whose lives have changed and are changing with uh, the help of stories and books we are presently working in a little um, fishing village called kakra which has a small hamlet of approximately 44 odd houses or families from the beginning the day one when we first went there kakra village uh, we had a good uh, response because see i i'm uh, i'm here um, university last 20 years so um, i have my my, uh, my contact with this seat their uh, children uh, children their parents and even their grandparents so okay. so that is also plus point the activities we do is uh, uh, we uh, do the lending of the books wherein the children are free to choose the books they want uh, then we do the browsing we help them with the reading uh, then we do a little bit of a game related to the story then we do the reading of the story and then an activity which follows to reinforce the uh, the story uh, so far we have five different sites around goa Uh, this is Kakra, and what we do is uh, we take the library experience to underprivileged kids and kids who would usually don't have that access. Because we know that stories are uh, carriers of culture, you know, memory, knowledge, information. All of this comes through the medium of a story. but somehow when we design um, language activities we design curriculums to teach we forget this powerful vehicle that is the story really you can think of a story as just something very recreational and you can you know just go and read any story to children but draws back to the first idea i'm saying where the story is a vehicle for much more that one is trying to communicate but ideas and understanding experiences requires i think thoughtfulness in its choice so we wouldn't randomly choose any story for like any site own individuality and uh, to appreciate it you know so i i, I like i like that this book comes to get that and uh, and it does let us have a little art and uh, a story that we feel in some way can become an opportunity to dialogue with our children or can become an opportunity for the children to think about a practice in a different way would be some of the building blocks of story selection that we choose for mop
Usually at Chimbel, we've, we've had the most uh, kids at Chimbel. Uh, at one point, we used to have 50. We have 166 registered. Uh, so they come in and they go out and more come in and some leave. Uh, but for the most part, we have a constant um, 40 to 50 uh, per day, except for today. All of us together, holding hands, holding Basically, Indira Nagar started off as a small settlement. Uh, apparently, Indira Gandhi came here during the emergency and uh, she set up a few houses uh, and that eventually grew into um, what you see around, which is big Indira Nagar with lots of, lots of kids, lots of people, lots of small, small um, houses together. So in design, there is kind of a mood setting to bring children to the main theme of the story, which could be a game, a song, a conversation. Then we actually read the story to them. Then there is a discussion after the story. Because there is also a driving force to build on reading and writing skills, we have a paper pencil activity at the end of a story. And it's a very fine line because you don't want that activity to mirror what most of our children feel is a tedious school kind of an exercise. You want to keep it creative, you want to keep it engaging, but you also want learning. For the most part, the kids are migrants, that uh, they speak a variety of languages. Uh, to my surprise, they speak uh, Telugu, Kannad, uh, Hindi, Urdu. Marathi. English. So apparently, uh, Chimbel is the only uh, school in Chimbel is the only one that that teaches Killa in four. Killawada that teaches in four languages. Urdu, Urdu school. Urdu even. Uh, we've recently started a program in the new Basti site in Tonka, which is next to Santines. More and more we in Goa we are arguing this point about the medium of instruction in schools which is one issue. Uh, the other issue being this very um, hugely driven market demand for English which we have to recognize is a language of power. What I'd like to say is what we try to do with our books is communicate a story as powerfully as the story needs to be delivered, but in a meaningful way so that children think about the story in whichever language the child's thought processes work in. I'm hoping also in a couple of years to be able to, sh to share data on how a multilingual exchange also builds better comprehension of a language. <laughs> Another interesting thing we do is we blow up our books as you would have seen and the exercise of enlarging books is an expensive exercise. Um, so the book that is chosen to be enlarged has to be thoughtfully done, has to hit a certain number of criteria to justify the cost and therefore the number of times that same book can be used. Uh, one thing we are very clear about is that when working with large groups, a big book is essential for reading aloud. The School Book Treasury uh, is a program that aims at creating classroom libraries uh, in schools. Uh, we have a system where we have a book lending with uh, about 23 schools across Goa. We also have what is called a minimum intervention program whereby we do a story time with the extension activity and that's literary based in certain schools. We believe very much that drawings are almost a legitimate form of writing as words. And because we work with a multilingual group, often our children have ideas to share which cannot be shared in a script. But if you give them the opportunity to draw, it comes naturally. I love working with the kids and I love 
the responses that you get from them and the interaction that happens in class and i admit that i have had my moments of frustration where i've been thinking why kids are not always reading at the level that they should be it's not a stagnant process is what i've realized but there is a lot of work that's going to have to go into bringing about this kind of change that would be ideal and that is something that i'm very keen on working towards entire session for the for the day of or rather for the for the morning is centered around the theme so the pre story discussion or the talk about uh, component would cover the theme of the day example uh, monsters it would cover monsters so we are today talking about do you know what we're talking about arushi it lives in the water and it got It's it's a uh, you know kids are so unjudgmental they and they're so open to receiving ideas and uh, you know uh, being part of what is happening and that's really fulfilling that's very exciting um as you can see now this order they know that one thing comes after the other <laughs> they know that they have to hold on to their pencils because they're not going to get another one i i have learned with this program that yes if you try to teach uh, if you are not forcing them in uh, way the children are uh, ready to uh, get in all into writing reading yeah they love it they love it. they love they, they love the books where she they love taking books and they all rush and they pick up books at the start book one then in that sense starts with keeping the story as central so at the heart of book one is story basically for me that's really what captures the essence of the work we're trying to do is uh, share stories with as diverse and as many children as possible through story books